All right, you know what time it is. Time for some Bortle. Uh, I'm eight out of 10. Did I just crack my finger in the mic? I'm so sorry if I did. Uh, we're eight out of 10 in the last one. Today, uh, hopefully, is the day we get the 10 out of 10. We'll see. Let's do it. Okay, first one. It is a six duelist board. Six duels has been really, really popular lately. They have four guard or four edge of knights with the edge of knight augment. They have the Triforce augment with Trish three, Volibear three. They do have a little bit of lack, like they lack a little bit of power in their third augment because it was really just to hit, you know, the Trish three and the Volibear three. So that's something. Uh, they also have a Silas two in their board just for two Umbral. No like heavenly, uh, normally you see heavenly in this board, right? Or like Sage with like Diana, uh, like Diana Wukong stuff. I guess it wouldn't be Sage. It would be like Dragonlord at that point, but not too shabby looking the other board is ash one four sniper with big amumu you know I, I think i was gonna say i think at first glance this is like very obviously duel's favorite but it might not be it's just duel's favorite I, I don't think this board has time to ramp there's too much damage rage blade isn't the best item in the world in tristana but there's so much aggro dropping here and like a bunch of cc from the vola bear and it's a lisa in two so even with bad items i'm pretty sure this duelist board just clears yeah all right, one for one. Not bad. Another duelist board. I think we'll see a lot of these today. Duelists are getting really, really popular. So we have uh, the Challenger Augment, which gives a bunch of extra stack. Basically, you start with some stacks and you get some Omni Vamp, which is really good. They also have Bulk. Uh, only two units with items on them has to be something to consider, but Bulk is really good with duelist damage reduction once you're like the six piece or the eight piece, but the four piece has no damage reduction. So right now, it's not actually doing that much. Um, I think this matchup is a little weird because obviously they didn't want to put their Hodge on their Kiana, it looks like, because they wanted to greet it for maybe their least sim without having to sell. That's a little greedy, probably a little too greedy. Uh, it is versus four Bruiser Kobuko with three items. Uh, this is presumably like somewhere in stage four. Looks like maybe they rolled down and missed their Kobuko. They probably have like a bunch of Kobukos on bench. Uh, this is a tough one. Reason being, right, that there's not a lot of value out of this Prismatic while this Prismatic is getting a ton of value. However, uh, for a duelist is just an insane synergy. Darius 2 is also a really good unit. Kiana's positioned really poorly, though. I, I think the fact that Kiana and Darius, the two biggest damage dealers on this board, are both in front of this Kobuko means that more than likely, the Kobuko board is going to win. Yes. Okay, cool. Whew, good. Let's go, Kobuko. All right, so we have AD Kindred with just three units on the board versus Sniper Ari. Uh, I mean... Obviously, the RE board's not very good. The Kindred board's also not very good. Uh, I, I think it is more than likely to be the RE board who takes the dub, though. Just because unit quality, right? They have two Heavenly. Uh, two Heavenly versus two Bruiser, and it's like two Arcanists. This has a tier on it, so it casts a little bit faster. I'm going to say Morgana. Yep. Three for ten so far. Or three for three, rather. I'm not three for ten. Hopefully, they're not three for ten. That would suck. Okay. Uh, we have... Sniper Spat with Ramp. Sniper Spat is an Omni thing. They're getting no Augment value versus Scoreboard Scraper. I'm going to say, I'm going to commit to Scraper now, by the way. I, I was, in a previous video, I wasn't sure whether I wanted to say Scraper or Scrapper. We're going to commit to Scraper. So, uh, decent front line here, I'll, I will say. Um, this is pretty tanky with the, the whatchamacallit, the Randuins. Problem is, there's no Warden, um, which is like not amazing. The random one's hitting the Nico and the Garen. The Nico and the Garen are the only front line here versus the Yasuo. Is it a long fight? It's not a super long fight. Oh, this is a tough one. The gem probably never procs, I will say. Because this front line is pretty bad, right? The Yasuo is like decently tanky, but there's no heavenly here. Oh, they are exalted though. Oh, that changes everything. I'm pretty sure this board wins then. I, the thing is, this board is strong. This is tough. This board is strong, but I think if, especially if these walk up more so than those. I could see just Ari getting a massive ult into this big clump. Like, it hits Teemo, right? And it kills Sivir and Kale at the same time. I think Zoe has a hard time actually killing stuff. This Yasuo is actually relatively tanky. They are down an augment, but assuming this is, like, late stage 2, they're not going to have a lot of scoreboard scra scraper value yet. I almost hit scrapper again. <laughs> not going to have a lot of value from this. There's not a lot of synergies active here. Just a little bit of damage. Obviously, again, Randuin's is some good tank value, but I feel like this Yasuo probably tanks long enough. Uh, and probably has enough armor and MR to let this stuff do damage. This also gets a big ult through, presumably, the Garen, the Teemo, the Sivir, and it maybe hits the Kale too. So I'm going to say it's the RE board win, but I could be wrong about this one. This is maybe the most suspicious one so far. Okay, apparently it was very, very Morgana favored. My bad. According to uh, according to the AI prediction. 91% of players guessed correctly. I was just saying... That I, I feel like the Ari ult hits quite a bit of this board. I'm probably underestimating the Wardens again. I always kind of 
latch on to the idea of like no uh, warden active on a warden unit being pretty bad, but so far we've been proven wrong with that over and over again. So good to know. Good to know. Maybe we need to value just the warden unit quality more. Anyways, we move on. So we are uh, we are three for four. We have Cogma three. This is somewhere before stage four. It looks like or before four two at least. So their mythic crown, their Cogma three. They have Nico two with a gem on the Nico. Uh, this board doesn't have the most damage in the world. I will say it is. Only a three sniper, not four sniper. This is easier on some front line and no warden here again. We've we've kind of fallen in this trap again a, a couple of times now where I'm undervaluing the the, the warden. Um, or I rather I'm undervaluing the warden unit quality without the actual synergy. They have two items committed to this bard, which is not super great. I mean, okay, I'm gonna say that if if Kogma loses this, he's just unplayable. I'm gonna say it's a Kogma dub. I mean, we have Orn. It really should be positioned in a way where it's going to give the item to Nico. I don't think this gem procs, but I feel like Kogma has to be able to get through some of this stuff, right? Um, maybe not. It's only two sniper. Like, there's really not a lot of great stuff going on here. The bard probably can do a little bit of damage. There's really not a lot of stuff going on here either. I'm, I'm going to say that it's the, the Kogma player. I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. And we're going to hope that we're right. Okay, let's go. Let's go, Kogma. You're not as, as bad as I thought you were, maybe. <laughs> so their challenger augment uh prize fighter so they have a couple extra components looks like right they have three full items slammed they have holy crap <laughs> they have two four six eight ten twelve components they have six components on the board so i mean at, at the very least it's going to be very uh <laughs> very much an item diff so it's kindred two with blue buff with Kane too. The Kane is positioned really poorly. We have to have to acknowledge here. It's gonna have to walk all the way over here to the Darius, which is also not super hot, right? Warmongs Lee should be on this unit to, to get three un three items on a single thing. Who knows how that happened? Per um, but Kiana's actually a little bit safer here than it looks like. That being said, Volibear walks up. Yoni has to walk as well. I mean, Kaisa can't be that bad, right? But they do have healing orbs though. These are tough. These are actually really tough ones today. At first glance, I mean, they're all on Umbral as well, so they're all getting Umbral value. It is for Ghostly, though. How much, how, the question is how fast does this board do damage, right? I think this board does damage fast enough. Four Duelists is pretty great. Obviously, not a lot of value is in this. Uh, not a lot of the items are on the Duelist, so, like, there's some loss in Augment value there. But these are this is itemized. This is relatively itemized. I think Darius probably kills Alawi before too much craziness happens. It is tough. It is tough. Especially with healing orbs, I'm gonna say it's a Zed win. Okay, that was okay. I, the AI prediction was on our side at the very least. The AI prediction was on our side. It seems like it might just be a healing orb diff. Nice try though. All right, uh, we got Trick Shot Augment with late game specialist and Unified. They are on not nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And my cat just scared the crap out of me. He just walked up behind me. <laughs> so they're on eight. They're going fast nine. They do have Unified. Brawler frontline with Unified is very, very good. They're only three Brawler, though. Uh, they do have this Udir, which is nice. They're also Shoujin Rally, which doesn't actually work. So that's, that's not great. And it's versus this Orn board. Or this seven Faded Syndra board. Oh, I mean, there's... If Syndra loses this... I mean, they have a weird augment, right? And team building. Tons of stats isn't great. Like, there is certainly some augment diff going on here, potentially. But... It's Syndra 2 with, with decent items. The front line's not like the end of the world bad. It's not great, obviously. They're both bad boards. I'm going to say where this really wants to be a Kaisa and like there's really no value going on these trick shots. There's a Bard 1. Silas 2 is obviously pretty big, but I think Syndra actually cuts through. Okay. AI prediction was on our side again, though. So who knows? I'm, I'm getting wrecked today. Got to beef it up for tomorrow, apparently. Uh, okay, so we have Dragon Lord Augment. We have two for one. So there's a Prismatic Augment and Econ value. And there is, I mean, they used it well, right? They have Zyra 3, they have Janna 3. There is a, a Dragon Lord Spat on their Zyra, which is a little weird without the Dragon Lord Augment. There's also Final Ascension, but not enough frontline to probably get to the, the full proc of Final Ascension, I will say. Meanwhile, they have um, Support TG, they have Warden Crown and Station Support. So there's six Warden. That is a lot of value. There's a lot, a lot of value. They do have a decent amount of ramp as well because they have Ash. Only problem I can see with this board really is that I guess it's just twofold, right? There's not a lot of Randuin's value happening. Um, the Redemption is really far away from the Amumu. And 
in a scaling fight, I'm pretty sure this Janna actually scales quite a bit harder. And this Diana probably actually stays alive very well. So I'm going to say this is a Zed win. Nice. Huge. Okay. There's just too much ramp on the Zed, Zed board side of things. All right. Uh, another faded board. It's four faded. They missed their Syndra. They're just playing around Ari. This is before stage four. So maybe like late stage three. Um, maybe like a, yeah, there's seven units on the board, right? So maybe it's like a, a three, five through like three, six thing, three, five, three, six thing, or like a four, one thing. Uh, and this is versus solo frontline Alawi with a spark. The spark's going to die really quickly, I will say. This is okay. So it's spark Alawi. There is some dummy value. You know, Banshee's giving some attack speed to these two. There's a five thingy Kale, a five cerebral Kale. Honestly, not looking great though. I, the stuff is very clumped. So Ari will get a lot of value. There's an Orn here. There's four Dryads. So there's a decent amount of frontline, uh, to be honest. And, and Behemoth is actually probably enough frontline where I, th I think this frontline just collapses really quickly, right? Because what happens here. Um, is that these two walk up here and here. Ari ults this. It probably just did, like destroys all three of them pretty quickly, maybe within one ult. They probably shouldn't, shouldn't need to have, have to ult twice probably to actually kill all of them. And then they just like to walk up and Ari just gets to like hit that. There's like a weird, weird world where Ari walks up into a Kale ult somehow. Um, I think that world probably isn't this world. I'm not 100% sure about that, obviously, but <laughs> who knows? And I think the second thing here that to think take into account is that Nasher's Ari is actually a little bit bugged. She has gets too much attack speed from it, and so she'll like lose an auto attack. So she'll she'll cast and then she'll auto once and gain no mana from it because she gets too much attack speed. So that is a consideration. However, I think it still probably is enough juice to make this dryad faded board win. Yes. Okay. Cool. All right. And so now we have double Nico from the first augment. Didn't get used for really anything, right? It's Rek'Sai 2, it's Thresh 2, it's Kindred 2, no three-star early cost units. It is Baboom, and there is a blue buff and a Shoujin, right? So there's a lot of Baboom value here, and it is Faded Crown with five Faded, four Dryad. So not the worst board of all time, except for the fact that maybe that there's three items on a Rek'Sai 2. Then we have on this side, oh, Wrath of the Moon, Umbral Crown, six Umbral with Lucky Gloves, with TG, TG, TG. It is a Loon 1. I think, I think the big things to pay attention to here is that it's Silas 1, Loon 1. It is came with Umbral Spat. I'll be honest. I, I guess there's no Duelist, though. I was going to say, I think this Darius kind of slows up the board, but with no Duelist, maybe not. But Boom's going to do a lot more damage than you think here. Uh, there is Anti-Heal here, which is nice. It's, it's tough to say, to be honest, because, like, second cast, Ari probably kills this thing. This stuff dies relatively quickly. It gets an item on Silas, though. So Silas with a third item might be able to do enough. But with a Loon 1, I'm not super sure. But Boom makes this tough. The Boom makes this really tough. I'm leaning on the side of Umbral because I think there's just a little too much tank value, right? The whole board has like 900 shield at this point. I'm going to say it's Umbral, but I can see this one being either way. Okay, cool. AI prediction was actually uh, on, on against us that time. Uh, we are 7 for 10. I feel like it wasn't that bad. Uh, we'll do more tomorrow. This is on Korea and Challenger actually on the Korean server and challenger interesting but yeah if you enjoy the videos please make sure to leave a like and subscribe I'm going to do more of these portal ones I'm thinking I'll probably do one every single day and then we'll have history more history videos coming on the way as well uh, kind of sp scattered throughout maybe like three or four of those a week ideally but yeah peace thank you for watching bye bye